Hello everyone and welcome back. I just got done making this uh, little island table sort of for in the kitchen for the new house. I put that video over on Jones Act Survival and now it's going to be about a week until I bring it up there and I want to make a little stool to go with this and uh, just add a couple things to it along with a whole bunch more coats of varnish. But right now the table is still tacky from the last coat of varnish I put on there. So I'm going to stay over in this side of the workshop and we're going to work on the little stool. So what I'm trying to do is build a little stool that's about this tall. So if you wanted to, you could sit here, you could put your feet on there, and you could cut stuff up on this. But I need it small enough so that when you're done, you can take it and just set it right in here to store it if you wanted to. Because that kitchen right now, until we remodel it, is pretty small. So more than likely what's going to happen is I'm going to build this and it's going to sit in the corner. <laughs> because this will get full of like pots and pans and everything. But Anyway, I need to have kind of a, um, an idea of what I want, so that's exactly what I'm trying to do.
I made this little jig here, put a 20 degree angle on these uh, holes. And then I got a 5 16 bit and a 5 16 dowel. And I got a piece of tape here so I know how deep I want to go. No, that sticks out a little bit too far. I think I need to take about a half inch off that. Okay everyone, well the little bench seat is done, the dowels are all in, I got the uh, workshop halfway cleaned up here so it's looking good. I think my dad's going to be coming out here tomorrow when I'm at work and probably working on that table right there that he's been working on this last week. I'll probably come out here later tonight and put one more coat of varnish on that and then I can just dry overnight. I'll come out here and start the stove and get make sure the stove is still going in the morning so it stays warm and go to work. And tomorrow night I'll come back and put another coat on. Well, it's the next day after work. I thought I'd get out here and put another coat on. Well, I just got that next coat completely done on the table. It takes about an hour and 15 minutes, so now I'll have to do the chair. Looks like my dad is just about finished with this little table he's building for the folks' cabin. I'll come back out tomorrow and put on another coat. Okay, well I'm back out in the workshop tonight. I've been out here every night. This is uh, several days later now. And I put uh, many coats on this whole entire project. Tonight now I'm just going to put one last coat on the top. And uh, tomorrow I'm actually going to be bringing this up to the new house. So get one last coat on here. Let that dry overnight, load it up in the truck or the trailer tomorrow, and we're heading north.
Well, I just got that last coat finished. I'll let that dry overnight and she'll be ready to load up in the truck. I have the table all loaded up, ready to head for the new house. It's 19 degrees right now. Temperature's supposed to fall all day and be into the single digits. I think it's going below zero up at the house, so. I'm gonna drive actually all the way to Superior, Wisconsin and uh, have lunch with Melissa and then I'll head to the house. lunch with Melissa. Now I'm heading out of Wisconsin and back into Minnesota. The ships are breaking ice to get in here now. Well, I'm over here now. I just have to wait for Melissa to get home from work in a couple hours because there's no way I can bring that thing in here all by myself. Well, I got this brought in yesterday afternoon. Uh, it fits in here nice. It's, you know, it'll be perfect, but we both want it to not be as shiny. So in the first video I did, you know, I did everything in semi-gloss. So now today I'm going to run a tarp underneath this. We're going to put a coat of satin on there to dull it up. And I think it'll fit a lot better. It just won't quite be so kind of flashy and, you know, just not as shiny. Well, both of them are covered in satin now. They're still wet, of course, so they're super shiny. I need to jump in the shower. I'm going to meet Melissa just up the hill a little bit in Duluth from Glensheen Mansion. We're going to have lunch, and then when I come back here, we'll take a look and see if this uh, looks a little better. Not quite so shiny. It seems to have dried pretty good. I mean, you can still see the sheen off the light from above, but it's not glossy anymore. It looks pretty nice. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. I will see you guys on the next video.